Hey guys, welcome back to 25 CPs. Today I'm super excited about the video because I'm introducing you guys to a new brand, new to me and actually just launched yesterday, so I'm pretty excited. It is called Atomic Polish and they have a wide variety of polishes already available in the Etsy shop, which I will link down below. But today I am showing you about six of their new creams that I'm actually really excited about. I love a good cream formula and these colors are so happy and perfect to start off the year as we move into spring. So let's take a look at all of the swatches. First up we have a light blue shade called Helium. All of these actually have different element names which is really neat. And we're going to kind of compare this one at the end because there is another blue in the collection and while they look close in the bottle they look completely different on the nails but I thought it'd be nice to go ahead and show you that at the end of this video anyway. So as you can see that first coat went on rather sheer but that second coat does bring us up to full coverage rather quickly. If you do super thin coats you might need a third coat but I mean for the majority of the time, I think two coats will do you really well. As you can see here, I had a little bit of shrinkage, but that was just because I didn't have enough on my brush compared to what I normally would do. So I went back in and just finished up that second coat, and I was completely happy with it. So there is two coats of Helium. Next up, we are moving on to Phosphorus, which is kind of like a peachy shade, or you could consider it kind of like a pastel orange. Again, really pretty, nice formula. This one has a consistently like the same formula as the last polish, so a little bit sheer on that first coat, but the second coat does bring us to full coverage, which is what I am applying now. I know this appears to be a little neon-like on the camera, but really it is a more of a pastel orange, so I'm really liking it. Very kind of like a sherbet color. So there is two coats of phosphorus. Next up we have a polish called Neodymium and this is kind of a tealish like blue. In the bottle next to the other blue that I showed you it looks very similar but this one definitely has a much more green tone to it. So this one has a bit of a thicker formula or I should say creamier formula so it covers it really quickly and two coats is definitely perfect. I love this one. Next up we have potassium and potassium is a really pretty purple and actually in some lights you can kind of get a purple like look. This one goes on rather sheer on the first coat but then the second coat brings you up to full coverage. So here is two coats of potassium. Next up we have Boron and this one is probably my favorite. It has a thicker formula like the tealish one that we swatched earlier. It goes on really well. That first coat is actually almost good enough to be done. If you're in a rush actually you could totally get away with one coat. But I do like that second coat just for the full feeling of a full on manicure. So I'm going to apply two coats and that is definitely full coverage. Two coats of Boron and I absolutely love it. Definitely the color of the year. Next up and lastly for today we have Sulfur. This is a really bright sunshiny yellow. I say bright and it actually appears brighter on camera than it does in real life. It is more just like a buttery yellow if that makes like helps you visualize what it looks like in person. It is not neon even though the camera kind of gives you that idea. But here is two coats. As you can see the two coats brings you to full coverage really nicely. It has great coverage and a really easy to work with formula. So here is your final look at all of the polishes. I'm really impressed with this brand so far. I'm excited to see what they do in the future. I love all of these colors and like I said, I'm just pretty excited about it in general. A lot of fun shades and there are sparkly options up on their website too, which I will have linked in the description box below as well as a link to today's blog post and you guys can expect these popping up in future videos for nail art for sure. So now that we have looked at all the polishes, I thought it would be a nice time to kind of compare some of them because some of them in the bottle do look similar, but they look different on the nails when you put them side by side. So that is what we're going to take a look at now. On the left here we have helium and then on the right we have neodymium and as you can see one definitely has a tealer tone in it versus the other where the other is more of a sky blue. Now here on the left we have phosphorus and on the right we have boron. As you can see these are definitely different even though they might look similar in the bottles. One is much more light and orangey where the other one is much more of a coral and would totally work for the living coral color of the year. 
Well, everyone, that is a wrap for today. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I almost said blog post, but there is a blog post up to go with this video. So I hope you have enjoyed this video and today's blog post if you are a frequent reader of 25 Sleepies. I think that is it. As usual, I will have all of the information you may need in the description box as well as a link to today's blog post. And like I said earlier, be sure to keep an eye out for videos featuring some of these polishes because I already have so many nail art ideas. I'm just so excited that it's like time for the spring art because spring and summer art are my thing and I'm super excited about it. So that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys back here tomorrow. Bye. Actually, I'm not sure why I said tomorrow. I don't think I have a video going live tomorrow, but I will on Monday. So I will see you guys back here on a Monday, and I will see you over the weekend on the blog and, of course, on Instagram stories. So again, thanks for watching, and I will see you all later. Bye.